Good afternoon, Fridays. <laughs> Good afternoon, families. It is Friday, February 11th, 2022, and it's kind of warm this afternoon, but it's going to get colder tomorrow. So uh, as weather's changing, of course, just keep sending kiddos with lots of stuff. The wind can be pretty cold at recess, and uh, it's just I'd rather have everybody be warm and toasty than not. Uh, updates on what's been going on in our classroom. So we've been continuing reading and writing nonfiction uh, in phonics. We are moving into, we were reviewing digraphs this week and we're working into long A, silent E, so the words like make and take uh, starting this next week. So that's kind of exciting. In math, we're working on place values. So regrouping things in tens and then ones. So like one, 10 and three would be 13. Uh, and we're going to be adding those numbers, and then we're going to be subtracting those numbers and breaking them up. Um, so math's taking a big step up, so it's kind of fun. In social studies, we are finally getting to uh -huh, our me on the map unit, which um, just, we had a little bit of, uh, had to get some testing done, uh, which we'll talk about here at the end. Uh, but we're going to be looking at finding ourselves on the map, starting local with our school, our town, our state, our country, our continent, and of course, then our planet. Uh, so we're gonna be making a kind of a cool flip book so that'll be really fun. Um, and talking about how all those different perspectives, greater and greater uh, perspective on finding ourselves. Um, on Monday, it will be the 14th of February. So that's Valentine's Day. So uh, we all made uh, bags. Mine is not decorated yet, but we all made bags today. They look fantastic, actually. Um, so if you have things that you'd like to use and participate with for Monday, please have them sent in. Um, it's easier if you have kiddos just write their own name on all the cards, but if you have them write everyone else's, it's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll work it out. It's good reading practice. Um, and we talked about it as a class, so they're all like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, this Wednesday, we are going to be celebrating for the 100th day of school. I believe the 100th day of school is technically Tuesday, but with Wednesday it being a slightly shorter day, I thought it would be kind of fun to dress up as if you were 100 years old. Uh, so that might be kind of fun. So Wednesday, let's dress up as if we were 100 years old. I will also do that because I'm sure, if, as all of our students know, that I'm probably just only a few years away from being 100 because I'm pretty old. Uh, so that'll be kind of fun uh, as a way of just celebrating 100 days for being in first grade. Uh, Parent-teacher conferences are coming up in March, March 10th and 11th. They're going to be virtual, of course, so I will be putting together a sign-up genius list so that and get that out to you so you can sign up and kind of plan for that ahead of time. I will also see if I can put a, put some earlier in that week evening times available because I know it's just hard as as families finding those times, and I just wanna make sure that I can have the time to connect with you and talk about all the amazing things that we see in the classroom. What are you seeing at home? How is homework going? Start looking at like first into second grade thoughts and, and ideas. Uh, so that's pretty important. Uh, last, you got an envelope in purple folders that looks like this, and in, it's taped on the back. I told everybody, I'm like, I'm gonna tell everyone it's taped. So it's taped already. Um, and it is our fast bridge results from winter. So for reading and for mathematics. Uh, so obviously we're gonna talk about this during conferences. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, please reach out, send me an email or uh, chat with me before school or after school. I'll try to pop out a little bit earlier um, this next week, just in case something pops up. You're like, I have no idea what this means. Um, but otherwise, um, as always, expectations from fall go up in winter. So if your student is maintaining growth, um, they'll kind of have like a flattish bar. If they've like had some crazy breakthrough, you'll see like their bar going up. Um, if they've kind of stayed static or kind of changed a little bit, uh, you might see that bar go down. These aren't huge, crazy, difficult things. Um, I definitely had a few um, instances where I saw um, bars go down for either reading or math and a lot of it is listening to the directions and following the directions instead of assuming they know what they know. But those are things that we talk about all the time in class. Um, and as always, we'll talk about those at conferences as well. Uh, but otherwise, things are going pretty well in the classroom. We've done a little bit of cleaning and reorganizing. 
and um, our nonfiction books are almost done. Most of everybody is pretty much finished up, so they're now adding a table of contents and a glossary, and they're looking really, really good. So I'm, we're gonna finish them up, share them with each other in the class, and then they'll come home so you get to see some cool nonfiction books. We've got books about Bengal tigers, um, we have books about sharks, we have books about, we have a knock-knock nonfiction joke book, uh, so pretty fun. So really awesome, awesome thing. So hope you're doing well. Hope you are safe. Please stay warm. Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, obviously, the Packers aren't in there. So I guess root for the team that you're going for or get outside and go for a walk. But have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye.